So thank you very much for your time, for the opportunity to, you know, to give us a little, um, to give you information about this cybersecurity journey and how together we can grow on this new important scenario that we have today. And one thing that we need to keep in mind is that is a journey. It's like a marathon. It's not a sprint. We need, we need to understand and to be prepared to face the challenge and to adapt. We need to understand the overall picture and we need to have and to gain knowledge every day about new scenarios, new movements and new areas inside of the cybersecurity. And, and the reason, one of the important reasons that we need to improve our skills and our ability to learn is that the cybercrime damages are expected to reach 6 trillion by 2021 worldwide and we, we need to look at this because this is a reality for all type of verticals areas in countries in different countries in financing in retail in different in uh, companies that we need to better understand the type of breaches that exist inside of our companies so we need to look at this as important a scenario that we have today in different countries and worldwide. And look at this as, as an opportunity to improve ourselves and to be part of this important journey, is the cybersecurity journey. We need to understand that we have at this moment 3.5 million unfilled jobs worldwide. And we need to look at this as opportunity because if we can improve our knowledge inside of the cybersecurity, we can help our companies to improve their cyber resilience plan. And, and look at this a scenario where we need to create a team as information security manager, for example, we need to look at two important movements. One of them is about diversity. We need to create a team as more diverse as possible. And the reason here is because we, in, in a moment that we understand the other, we can better understand the problems that we are trying to solve. And that's the reality that we need to bring to our companies. And here, I would like to encourage you and invite you to look around to look around in if you see another or other or women working around you in cybersecurity or even in IT and ask her about the journey and why not invite her to join to the cybersecurity team as well. Because we need a more diverse team. We need to improve our vision in how we can see the world. And the only way that we can see the world better is, is looking through the eyes of the others, not just only our eyes. And because of diversity, so diversity is so important in the team, another point that we need to look on, as I said, two points I will bring here when building a team is the diversity and the other is the emotional intelligence. The emotional intelligence is so important because we need to better understand the others. We need to create the empathy and the digital empathy. We are living in, in, in a day that is, is totally different than it used to be before, right? And in order to better create a cybersecurity resilience plan, we need to have digital empathy. We need to understand the others, how our users are working from home and how we can improve their experience when using our solutions, our security program, our security framework. So emotional intelligence to allow our teams to work together, but to look at the eyes of our users internal and external in order to improve our visibility and how we can improve their experience when using 
our internal technologies. So it is important when thinking about create a team, a stronger team. So, and when we look at the opportunities, so we talked about the journey, the unfilled, um, the gaps that we have in the cybersecurity when we think about opportunities. Then we talk about the created team and how we need to improve some points about diversity and uh, emotional intelligence. But when we look at the, the type of job roles that we have as opportunities in, the, in different companies, and if you look at this presentation, we have here more than 20 uh, uh, job roles opportunities here. But we need to understand inside of our companies what type of business that we are or that we have inside of our company. For example, maybe I work for a company that is the, their main focus is on incident response. In this case, maybe it's more interesting for me to focus on system operation center security analysts, for example, or maybe network engineer. So as a professional, I need to look at the, at the company that I work for or the, or the other companies that I'm interested to work for to better understand their business and how I can, how can I integrate to their, um, to their team, to, to their business scenario. And another way to look at this as a way to, to connect my career to, my, to the company that I work for is, is to look in for the kind of framework, security framework that the company is working for or working for to adopt. In this case, for example, we have NIST, the cybersecurity framework from NIST that where we have five main areas, identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. And, and if you look at the right side, we, we have some examples uh, uh, for work role. Identify risk manager is the type of role that's important to this main area of the NIST cybersecurity framework. Other example is for respond. I need to create an incident response team, an incident response uh, area, or maybe work with another company to do that. But work role like incident responder is important. So why is it important for me as a professional to understand this inside of the company that I work for? It's because I can look at this as a career opportunity inside of the company that I work. So we need to, you need to think more in a more strategic way when thinking about our career. Because cybersecurity is not just an IT issue or a cybersecurity department. It's more, than, it's more than that. The cybersecurity threats are on the rise, as we saw in the beginning of the presentation. And we need to look at this in, in, in how our company are looking, in how our companies are looking on that. Because today, cybersecurity must be part of the board of directors. And, and if you look at the World Economic Forum, they have created a um, work, working group focused on cyber resilience. And the main reason here is to connect the dots. It's to connect the dots between the cyber strategy with and together with the business strategy. Because cyber security and cyber resilience plan is so important to the business today. And the only way to instill the culture shifts that is required to make sure that the company will have a cyber resilience plan is to connect the dots with the board of directors. And, and this is so important. We need to understand that uh, opportunities inside of the cybersecurity is not just related to IT to IT or to another areas. In fact, cybersecurity is part of the overall company, overall. And one of the main reasons that the boards need a CISO is, is to guarantee 
the translation between the technical and the concepts in the engineering because there are so many languages that is in, in some moments they are complicated to understand but we need to convert that in a business language in some language that another areas inside of the company will understand and we will agree to create a plan okay because the plan needs to be in the over it needs to be uh, together with the overall company it's not just an it issue issue or um, another area issue in fact is the overall company the cybersecurity is moving faster than ever if you look at today where remote workforce is requesting from companies to adapt to this new new so critical scenario if you look at this the perimeter is where the data and identity can be found is not anymore inside outside of the company because if you look at today most of our employee they are working from home or from other areas it's not more inside of the company so that's the thing like a, that i said like a journey we need to understand we need to uh, uh, acquire new knowledge about this new uh, uh, movement that the world is facing and how how can uh, help the company on this journey thinking about security and in here we connect the dots with the zero trust architecture here we can think about oh i can't trust in fact every every person inside of my company needs to create a safe and secure identity in order to be connected with my network so it's the type of new knowledge that i need to acquire in order to help the company that I work for or other companies around the world to be more secure. The people diversity and the digital empathy that I, that I said before. If I can't understand my users, if I can't understand my external users at this new moment that we are living today, how can I help them? How can I create a better secure plan or create my, a, a plan that's more resilient, resilient than before. So these are the type of um, new knowledge and information that we need to work on. So that's the why diversity is so important because as more diverse my team, Mike and I see through the eyes of the others. And I, if I look at or uh, in uh, in an organization is like a city right because because like a city we have distant zones and each zone uh, has some activities and jobs and um, um, information that must be protected and how each zone can connect with each other and with external in order to be uh, to guarantee that that information is protected, but is uh, is secure as well. So that's why we need to look at our company, at our organization, in order to work with each zone and understand their needs. And when we look at each of these zones, each of of them, and create an overall cybersecurity resilience plan here as where we in fact have a program for security inside of the company but it's, it's not easy because if you look at for example um, companies that have some interest facing like critical infrastructure security it's so important today in the operational technology if you look at our uh, web servers, for example, we need to focus on the application security, but in the software development life cycle as well, because security must be by design. That's the, the word that we are working, you know, to live where uh, we have secure by design inside, in this case, in the software development life cycle. 
Internet of Things in the, is another area, area important inside of our companies. If you look at um, uh, our company inside of the room, we have uh, uh, voice over IP, um, we have our mobile, we have a laptop, we have a lot of, we have our printer, a lot of new devices that they are inside of my company. How can I create a segregation? How can I create information and authentication for this type of new um, um, devices? So I need to work on that. Cloud security, cloud security today is a reality for the companies around the world. But when we talk about security in the cloud, in the architecture that we need to work on, it's so different from used to be in the uh, on-prem network that we need to acquire new abilities here. So that's why we need to, to understand the area that we need to focus on in the area that's more uh, common to my daily basis activities or that I need to improve on. And look at this, we need to be engaged. We need to work together with communities around the world. We need to be, we need to stay uh, closer to NIST to understand and their new frameworks. We need to understand the World Economic Forum and how they are uh, getting more involved in, in, in the cybersecurity areas and in, in how we can use all, the, all this information to create a more resilience plan inside of, of our company. So in, when we look at your IT, work experience will not be wasted. We can work on that. You, you can use that as just a, a, um, a movement to help you to move to the cybersecurity area. For example, if you work on, as a network, network engineer, so why not network engineer focus on security for the, for the, the networking? for the IP, for example, and in other. So the company needs to create a security architecture overall. So why not move it to this new area? So think about it. Look at the company that you work for and how you can um, and create new opportunities for you inside of the company that you work for or outside of your company. But you can work on that together with, uh, with communities that we have around the world. Think about diversity once again. Think how we can improve your team to be more diverse and how we can create more empathy through the eyes of the others in order to better understand. Because I can create a program that will not be that can't be adapted to the company that I work for. So that's why we need to be part of the board of directors. That's why we need to create an overall plan that will be, uh, in, that will be still the culture that we need for. So I'm Vanessa. Thank you very much for your time. I'm fascinated about is my main area many years ago I started on that so I, I'm, I'm a writer I'm a mom uh, I'm focused on uh, everyday improve my knowledge listening to others so uh, listen is, some, is something it, it is, is so important that we need to improve most of the time because most of the time we talk 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 and we don't listen listen right so maybe in some moments we just need to listen because we are um, getting more information understand and then we can improve our relationships we can improve our emotional intelligence for example so we are together on this journey to the cyber security so Thank you very much. Thank you, EC Council, for this opportunity and for this initiative so important for the community. So thank you very much for your time. And uh, we are here to help each other. Thank you very much.